busy snowy day. Yep, let's just rest. Dizzy. What the heck? Vision gets. Ooh. But whoa! See, it's a good thing I had Teddy with me, just in case. See? Good thing we got Teddy to help us out, because, bro, I, I got knocked on my ass. But anyway, let's continue the story. As you can see, Teddy realizes I'm sick. I have a blank expression. <laughs> a cold pillow? Well, yeah. Because, you know, my head might be feverish, so there's that. My body feels heavy. Oh, my vision's blurry. Oh, things might turn here. Oh, shoot, Marie. Well, I came to say goodbye. It's been fun. Where are you going? I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. It's a shame I won't be there to see it. No, baby, don't go. I love you. Now and forever. Then don't leave me. Stay with me, baby. Come on. So. Goodbye. No, Marie, ¿qué carajo está haciendo? This is all for the best. No, no, stay with me, baby. Goodbye. No. I love Marie. She, you know, a lot of people shat on her, you know, in retrospect when it comes to this game, but I actually like Marie. She's funny, and yes, her character, you know, isn't crazy deep like everyone else, but she's fun companion. Oh yeah, I'm lightheaded, all right. Shroud in darkness. I don't like the fact that Marie left, man. I love Marie. Come on. That was still knocked out. Oh my god. Hmm. Yep. You gotta have to wait on me. Huh? Yes. Uh huh. That like your body might be like your head might be hot, but then your body's freaking like doing things it shouldn't be doing. Hmm. Guys, you just need to let me ride it out, okay? Yes, thank you, Naoto. Thank you for thinking of me by getting medicine. Of course. Oh my god, does that sound wrong? <sighs> Yo, that sound all types of wrong. I hope to get if Teddy did that, I hope to God he had his bear suit on. Because then it's like, oh, okay, it's like sleeping with a teddy bear. That's fine. Like an actual fluffy bear. Okay, well, I'm up. And this sucker's knocked out. At least he was watching over me. At least he was taking care of me. Like, I appreciate that. You know. Margaret. I had a dream about her. Okay. Yes. Fill your bonds with others. Gather your personas in the time you have. So you can be ready when the time comes. Good. That time will be, I believe, around Valentine's, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a time to get everyone's third awakened persona from here on out. And you will also see why they call this game golden. Because this is a trend that was started here, innovated here in Persona 4 Golden. 
And of course, we would eventually see it in Persona 5 Royal. Not in Vanilla 5, but Royal. Okay. Yo! Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worried you, dude. Let's see what they're gonna teach us now. Zoni, Osechi, Toshi Kochi Noodles, okay. Alright, what up? Supposed to put on top of the Kagami Mochi. Um, mm, an orange. Not just any orange, though. There's got to be a bitter orange called a Dai Dai. That means several generations. Of course, it doesn't have to taste very good. I mean, of course, it doesn't taste very good. But the symbolism of the thing is what matters here. Did you get all this? Don't make the same mistake I did when next year comes around. All right. I didn't know that. I just winged it. But I figured the orange makes a lot more sense. You don't put sticks on food. It's just kind of weird. All right. Let's go to the roof first and foremost. Cheers, shot. Oh, look at the snowman. <laughs> but, you notice that I said but. So let's do that. There's a reason for this. This is important. This is key. Oh, my room looks a lot better now. I'm looking at some of the manga here down on his bookshelf, and I'm like, wait a minute. Why is some of the manga volumes? Why do this? Why do some of the manga volumes look familiar? Especially the five volumes that are at the end are black and red. Yep, that's my boo. I love you. <sighs> Wait, what? Welcome home. What's this? What's this? Wait. Hibernating bug in the ground. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow, we got a lot of bugs. Insects, these guardian tools we want. Okay. That's fair. Let's 
through it. See if we can hopefully fix it. Oh, this Yukiko. Um. Oh, okay. Now's the time. Okay, they have to. They have to approach you. Okay, okay. I goofed up. <laughs> Kanji also. Senpai. Literally gonna be everybody. It's gonna be everyone from the investigation team, so. Good. It's literally gonna be everyone from the team. I, if I had to pick one. Who the. Who? Kanji. Kanji. No, 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 what am I thinking? He's in the practice area. He's always in, in the practice room. He's always in the practice room. That's where he's always at. Kanji san. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. Okay. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, One. let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so... I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Now, though, of course. Decides to confess your love. Who is this woman? Um, I want to give it to Ma. Oh, it's for your mom. Okay. I think anything would work. <laughs> what makes it so hard? There's got to be something it wouldn't be a good idea to give her. Okay, so... I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Oh. Oh, it was just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing totally fine. But the tests seemed like they were rough on her, so I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Okay. Well, that's nice of you. Stop teasing me. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Mm. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. She says she's proud of me. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just... Mm. I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. That's very thoughtful of him, yeah. Getting kind of leaky here. Yeah, it'd be like that, bro. I get it. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's gonna be proud of me. Still, I wanna become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. 
So I'm going to spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. Bingo. There you go. Digivolve again. Pain's great up power. Rope Tin Mao. Mega Digivolve 2. The catchy Saiten. The man's way. <laughs> Let's see. May inflict down Dizzy on all foes. So. Hmm. I mean, if I had to pick, get rid of the mutt. Yeah. New power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. I, I'll be counting on you. It takes a hell of a strong man to say that, Sensei. I've got a long way to go. Well then, let's make that gift. My present to Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. It's cold out now, so maybe something warm for when she goes to sleep would be good. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow you can put a hot water bottle inside? I'll call it a, a warmy yarny. <laughs> oh, that sounds we cute. work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Mom always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Man, I'm glad I asked you, Senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? Sensei's home. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, now the huh? Alright, that's what I was saying. Three. Only because. Nah, nothing. Senpai. I'll see you again. Sorry, baby. Yes. That's good. No crazy drinking. Ain't that something? Yo, farts not around. That's for certain. Ah, screw it. No classmates. You know what? Sports good. Now, oof, 
now we go hang out with Chie. She got a kitty next to her. Yep. Yeah. They say they want to talk to you about something. That's nah, one. Okay. <laughs> my moves are as sharp as always. Hmm. I guess this is more my thing after all. Oh. My shoulders were stiff because I've been doing stuff lately that I'm not used to. Need a massage? Oh, that's okay. No thanks. When Yukiko gave me one the other day, I got so ticklish that I almost died laughing. Actually, I was... Oh, you promise you won't laugh? I was studying and stuff. Okay. And what happened? <laughs> I started to think studying's kind of fun. Just a little bit. Thinking about Adachi-san made me wonder if he was just weird. But then I weird, thought... Weird? Just if weird? If my life had been different, I could have been just like him. Maybe everybody could. I realized that no matter how trivial something seems, it's related to my life. And that scared me. That's why during history class, it hit me suddenly that the history we were studying was all connected to me. The people back then, the things they did, their culture, it's all connected, and it's tied to me too. It's not just something that happened a long time ago in a faraway country. Real people laughed, cried, and died there. Yes. Math and physics too. They may not make any sense to me, but they're things I can use to help me understand the world. Mm -hmm. And when I thought about them that way, I got the urge to study harder. But it still didn't make any sense to me. So I'd give up, and then I'd come back to it again. It's an endless cycle. <laughs> I'm good for nothing after all, huh? That's not true. <laughs> Thanks. My way of thinking has changed a lot over this past year. But I think what changed the most is that I like this town now. I didn't hate it before, but it didn't really mean anything to me. Now, though, I realize that everyone is here. Yukiko, Yosuke, even you. All my friends and family. It was the people I believed in that gave me the strength to see the case through. So even if some other weird thing shows up again, I'll be okay, as long as everyone's with me. If I believe in them, and myself, I can always find a path. That's what I think. Mm. And... Digivolve, coming up! Oof! Suzuka Gongen! Digivolve to... Haraido no Kami! The Dragon Hustle. Ooh, that sounds good. Incre ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that is better than Heat Riser. Oh my god. That's so much better. will help me do more to protect the ones I love. That includes you too, you know. Since I love you. Yes. Yeah. I'll protect you. What? No, I'm gonna be the one protecting you. I right, sure would I love you more. You sure about that? Wait, what? What have you got me saying? Sheesh. Yay, I could work as a janitor. Yep, that's what we're doing. Make more of that bank. Screw it. We can do it, we make it. Plain and simple.
Let's make that money. It's an easy 8,000. You don't say no to money. Oh, senpai. Very important. Navigators. You don't say no to navigators when they got to boost up. So we know exactly where to go. Shopping district. Wait, no, she's not here. She off. Oh, she's at the school. She's at the school. Second or first floor. One or the two. There she is. A letter. Okay. Thank you, senpai. Was it okay to come out today? Did you have anything you needed to do? Hmm. You remember when I told you before that I had a number one fan? A girl who mm -hmm. was being bullied and would send me letters? Yeah. She sent me another letter. She says she's going to stop being my fan. Oh, she's damn. She's made friends with someone, but her new friend is a fan of someone else. Yeah, that person that replaced you, and then you you thought it was all cool, but the deep, deep down you were feeling a little, you know, salty. It seems she was told something like, I'll quit being your friend if you stay a Rosette fan. She did say Ooh. that she'll be cheering for me in her heart, but she won't be sending me any more letters. Oh, uh, well, you have another fan right here. You mean you, senpai? <laughs> you really are kind. Relationships between people are difficult, aren't they, Senpai? There's something like a mutual respect between her and me. I don't even know what she looks like, but I know she has a pure heart. I also know that she's persistent, but when another person enters the picture, things suddenly get complicated. Throw in four or five people, and it's pure chaos. There's no malice involved, and it's no one's fault. Yet, we end up hurting each other becoming lost it, it makes me so tired sometimes but that's why I want to keep trying my best I mean I am an idol after all oh well that's admirable of you thanks an idol isn't some doll in a window being held up for public display I think it means somebody who can endure things and stand their ground, no matter which way they're pushed. Even if that girl doesn't write me letters, I bet she'll still watch me if I'm on TV. It's possible. I can be her strength, as well as many other people's strengths. Even though many things may not go my way and I may be troubled, swept off my feet and get lost, I won't lose. I have to protect the smiles of the people who are precious to me. That's the resolve I found after meeting all of you. Okay. Power. There you go. Ooh, talk about uh. All right, Kazion, Digivolve to Kozion. Complete analysis. Ooh, yes. Along with the skills the enemy has, you can find out about the affinities you haven't attacked in the past as well. Oh man, it's gonna be such a cakewalk. a power inside of me that I didn't have before. I've learned so many important things from the people I hold dear to me. Senpai, I feel like my heart is about to burst. I'm so excited about the future now. Hardship and sadness and everything, it can all be changed into the power to take a step forward. I'm still just getting started. You and everyone else, you're all gonna keep changing too, in your own ways. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not scared of a long-distance relationship either. When I'm lonely, my love for you will grow stronger. And when I smile on TV, 
I'm smiling for you. So you smile too, senpai. And tell me you love me every once in a while, okay? Aww. Very sweet of her. Oh, Sensei's home! Take <laughs> Alright, what we got? The magazine, the vegetable bin. Uh, yeah, just work in the hospital. I mean, I mean, what else are we gonna do? There's really nothing else to do here. Just keep banking that money. Yep, there you go. All right, lecture. Oh God. Oh, Mr. Garrison over here got a little hungover, huh? This is a traditional drink for New Year. What does the name mean? Ah, uh, appease the demons. Oh, you below just <laughs> symbolic of burying demons. You know why he right? You know why? You know why people drink so they can kind of bury their problems to shit face to even think about their issues. So yeah. This is actually the correct term. So yeah. Yep, I was wrong on that one. It, it was actually the, the the other way around. All right. So next person, Yukiko. Let's go to y Yukiko. No, she's not here. But Nalto is. Uh, okay, so she needs to talk about. You have my means... gratitude. Alright. This place is covered in snow too. It's chilly, but I like the winter and its tranquility. Things have become so peaceful lately. I finally feel like I've gotten used to it. The people of Inaba are thinking about the events that transpired and are making an effort to make the town better. That sounds great. I've heard that a lot of local government projects are being considered, such as bringing back old festivals. It would seem that they're trying to revitalize the town commercially, but I think the people yearn for connection. But as time passes, everything fades away eventually. Mm -hmm. Whenever I handle a serious case, I always come across a certain problem. Man can forget about painful memories, and in doing so, wipe away tears and learn to stand up again. But because we forget, we repeat the same mistake that caused those bad memories in the first place. Being able to get used to difficulty is a strength. But people make mistakes because they get set in their ways. But after meeting you, I feel as if I've found an answer to these doubts. I feel that as long as you can find something precious in your heart, something to protect, you'll be okay. And as long as you have that precious someone, no matter how much you forget, you can strive for a better future. Of course, I have people who are precious to me as well. That's why I'm thinking about doing whatever I can for them too. This isn't just about me. I draw my strength from everyone else. They keep me alive. I've never considered things like that before. And of course, the ones who taught me to think that way are none other than you and all my other friends. Thank you. Really. There you go. It's evolution coming through. Oh, 
Alright, Yamato Takeru! Mega Digivolve 2! Yamato Sumeragi! Shield of Justice! Shields the party from all damage once. So you know what? Yes, there's a reason for that. There's a new power budding in my heart? I wonder if this means that I'm still capable of change. I'm going to keep learning from here on. And as long as I do, I can always change. That doesn't just apply to me. I'm sure the same can be said about you, too. I'm starting to look forward a bit to getting older. Me, you, and everyone else is going to keep changing. We'll all be having effects on each other, all those years. I want to watch how all of us change each other all throughout my life. That's what I truly want. Hmm. You're all right. Nope. Let me see who's out here. Good, might as well. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Name's Ted. Oh boy. Yeah, it's me. Alright, nice. Should be well enough to recover by then. Okay. Nice. Uh, 20. Alright, let's see what uh, this sucker. All right, Book of the Void. The giant candy. And there's B Chain with Cyclone Magatama. Um, uh, mm. I mean, honestly, I'll go with the B Chain. I think I have Book of the Void already. It's, eh, it's whatever.
It's been a while since I last talked to you one-on-one -on -one like this. It's been pretty busy in the department I work in. I'm still doing that consultation thing, too. Mm. I caused you some trouble, too, with that message, Juness. Ah, uh, wasn't a problem. Really? <laughs> That's good to know. Back then, I was constantly irritated, wondering why that stuff was happening to me. I was overworked just because I was the store manager's son, and on top of that, tons of people took me for granted. Mm. I thought no one was thinking about me. But that's not how I feel now. Okay. I took a roundabout way realizing this, but one constant in my life is that people rely on me. I thought before that I was shameless for being like that, but I just don't mind it. When I'm doing things for other people, it helps me try harder. When Nanako-chan was kidnapped, didn't you think I was surprisingly on top of things? I mean... Yeah, you were. You're the one I could rely on. For sure. Huh? Well, um... Wait, you had other guys there with you too. In any case, I tried pretty hard at the time. Of course, I was serious about wanting to save Nanako-chan and solve the case. But mainly, it was because I thought you were going through some tough times. When we were debating dropping Namatame into the TV, I was just seeing red. Oh, I was yeah, so overwhelmed with hate and wanting to blame everything on him that I stopped thinking for myself. I think the same could be said about what happened to Juness. People just think about their own interests. But if I ignore them and say it's none of my business, I won't get anywhere. Exactly. I'll forget what's important. And I won't be able to be proud of myself. I won't be able to say I did my best. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I want to keep pushing myself like that. I want the people I care about to be happy. There we go. There we go. Fish evolution. Here we go. One more time. Susaro, Digivolve to Takehaya Susaro. Now he has a raging fire of an afro. <laughs> oh man, God love this. Moderately restores parties HP and raises their hit evasion. See, that's cool. You know what? Yep. New power? <laughs> Is this for real? There's a lot I'm grateful for from this past year. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing, I think it was that I met you. If you ever lose your way, I'll go knock some sense into you. Not if I knock you off first, buddy. It won't matter if you're at the ends of the earth, or in somewhere dark and bleak. That's what partners are for, right? Hey, I'll knock you out instead. That makes no sense. We're talking about if you start screwing up, <laughs> and your punches hurt. I'll never lose my way if it'll keep me from feeling those again. Hey, we gotta clown around somehow. You're home! Yes, I am. You eventually gotta make you digivolve too, sucker. Alright, let's go outside. Let's see what's happening. I may have to just go ahead and work in the shop somewhere. Just for the look of it. Yeah, because hanging on you kind of doesn't mean anything if I'm not, you know. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Hop in the shop and work. Make some money. Yep. 
Yeah, the almighty dishwasher. so many times it's ridiculous already hey Lorena, yeah. welcome back all right yeah they should be coming home soon yep great idea all right that's always fun thought there was some noise outside all right you know what? We gotta find. Yukiko. There she is. Hey. Yep. Thank you. There we go. I'm sorry to ask you here so suddenly. It feels a bit awkward going home today. Hey, it's it's fine with me. I mean, it don't bother me, no. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually customer's day for me today. That's a day when the inn's employees take turns being customer. We've done it every now and then for a while, but I decided to participate this time too. Damn, Yukiko, that's not mad. You know what's funny? I'm going to bring this up. The way Yukiko's dressed up right now is the way my mom used to dress up during the cold winters uh, back home in New York when I was a kid. I remember her having that exact, like, brown coat and then the, 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 the scarf. Same colors and everything. That's crazy. I wanted to see from a customer's point of view if our inn is truly satisfying. Now, the headband, not so much, but my mom always did have, you know, black hair. It was always pretty straight down, whatever. But the getup is so much like my mom. So I asked them to sign me up. Yeah, you sound dedicated. Oh, well, I'm always dedicated, though. That's all right. Sometimes that happens with, with Twitch and with uh, even YouTube sometimes. I played customer once before, too, but it made me a little uncomfortable. It was strange having mother and everyone say things like, welcome to me. Yeah, Yukiko, that's what happens when you, uh, the roles are reversed. That's why I wanted to stay out of it a little longer. <laughs> but I brought this on myself. Oh, to be honest, I'm usually I the, told the simple the customer. told that I hadn't planned to take over as manager, that I wanted to leave Inaba. Yep, that, that was what she kept I saying. I thought it would be me finally coming clean to everyone. But they all just laughed and said they knew already. They kind of knew because of her demeanor, so you know, it didn't surprise it them. It made me realize how small I was. Why does it feel so sunny in my room? It's not even that bright in my room compared to what the camera's showing. I think it's the game. I was surrounded by good people, but I didn't understand that at all. I had myself convinced I had to bear my problems. I lied to myself, looked away from small opportunities, and only put my efforts into leaving it all behind. But after making so many good friends like you and Chie, I realized something. If I'm going to take one step at a time away from here, every step I use to run will take me somewhere I don't want to be. And if I keep averting my eyes, one day, I might find myself blind to everything. When I open my eyes, I see how vast the world is. If I was alone, I think it would be incredibly scary. But fortunately, I'm surrounded by kind, supportive people. 
Now I hope I can grow into someone that can support them in turn. There you go. Digivolution! Alright. Amaterasu! Digivolve 2! Sumeo Kabe! Ooh, burning petals. What does it do? Severe fire damage to all foes. There we go. Now we're talking. My persona? You see? So I can still change. As long as all of you are with me, I think I can go on without making mistakes. So... I hope we'll always be friends. Oh, yeah, of course. Welcome. Never. I, I just don't play shooting games. I, I just don't. That's weird. With all that wintry weather, I'm wearing regular clothes. What what crap is this? What is this, my guy? What? what? Uh, I, I don't get this game sometimes. I really don't. I really don't. I, and I'm going to pretend that I won't try. No, Risa, I'm not hanging out with you. I'm done with you. Let me go make some bread. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just work, baby. I got some bread to make. Whole wheat, 100% with some seed. Yep. Oh, boy. All right, so now who's next on the list? Where's my teddy? Where's my boy? Hold on. Check over here. All right, so if he's not here, check Junas real quick. There he is. Sensei. Yeah, man, I got I gotta have you digivolve too, bro. Damn straight. One of my favorite bears on the planet. Really, we're gonna go to the beach while it's barren and frozen. It's so huge, so wide, so salty. That sounds like a miserable bitch when the person they voted for doesn't win. <laughs> Wait! The salt was actually me sweating. It's tough to skate against the wind. Yup, you could bust your ass. Wow, the winter sea is really cool too. Coming here with everyone was fun, but it's exciting to be here alone with you too. This must be the true charm of the winter sea. He looked so happy. How can you not Sensei, love him? Sensei, over here! Let's do that thing people are supposed to do on the beach and run around in the surf! Come on! Try and catch me! Uh, Alright, fine. I'm getting you, Teddy. Catch the bear! Catch the bear! Sensei, why is the sea so huge? Well, we could play on. I see. The sea is nice. Oh, God. I just noticed this, folks. I know Teddy has a bushy blue tail, but for some reason, the way it looks here, it looks like a set of blue testicles hanging down. <laughs> oh, my God. 
the word is it? Bro, what the fuck? I'm looking at it now. I'm like, what is this? What is this? Like, his butt's up here and his, his tail all the way down here. But it, the way it's further down, it looks like his blue balls are sticking out. What the hell? The sea sparkling. <laughs> Teddy, man, for real. I didn't know anything about Sega, anything until Atlas. I met you and everyone else. When y'all remastered this game, did you not notice that his tail looks like blue, big ass testicles dangling down beneath his butt? Did no one think about? Oh, wait a minute! How come we didn't fix this? We need to like, you know, kind of graphically like make an adjustment so his tail's actually a tail. It doesn't look like a set of blue balls. Fun things, feelings that make me want to cry. How the sea is so beautiful. I didn't know anything. And I never thought about wanting to learn either. I can't unsee this, bro. I can feel all kinds of things in me now. All these feelings created after I met all of you. Uh, Sega. Atlas. I pray to God you fix this mess when you make Persona 4 Remake. Or Persona 4 Rerun. Whatever you want to call it. When the moment happens that this game gets remade. Because holy shit. This sticks out like a sore thumb. It sticks out to me so much. I'm go let's just I keep think going. That's my life. It's these different feelings that keep me going. There's still tons of things I don't understand. And I don't know what I'm going to do from here either. Yeah, sure thing, Lorena. But I've decided that I'm going to do the best with this life that I can. Even though I was scared. I took a step forward and discovered such a wonderful, shiny world. That's why you too, Sensei. S -sen Sensei! <laughs> you don't have to cry, Teddy. Relax, I'm right here. Seriously. Oh, God. Dude, you don't need to cry so much. I'm right here, Papa. I ain't going nowhere. We're gonna have to come back and deal with shenanigans later anyway. Because you're going away soon. I want you to know, Sensei. Don't worry. I'm going to be back in the summer anyhow. But I felt like if I told you, then you'd leave for good. Nah, dude. <laughs> Come on. No, no, no. No, it's still a long way off, my guy. How, how long is that in Topsicles? If I stop eating them, will it never come? You know how dirty that sounds? <laughs> you, know how, <laughs> you know how dirty... Alright, so if we look here, you can clearly see that Teddy's tail is his tail. Here it looks fine. But from that angle we just saw like two minutes ago, it looked like a set of blue testicles dangling down. Atlas, for the love of God, when you, not if, but when you decide to make Persona 4 rerun, please, for the love of Christ, Buddha, Vishnu, Shiva, Izanagi, Thor, Odin, Frey, and Freya, please fix Teddy's ass and tail. Please do. For the love of God, look at me. Look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm in the camera. This is how mad I'm at. This, uh, I'm telling you, Sega and Atlas, right now. Fix this shit. Fix Teddy's ass. Please. Please fix his ass and fix his tail so that every time he's facing his behind towards us, it doesn't look like I'm seeing a set of blue testicles dangling to the ground. Okay? Thank you. Moving on. be okay it's sad but being sad is part of life too yes this is correct i've made my decision to stop relying on you so much sensei i will now enter the independent teddy chapter of my life so that this time i can be your sensei sure why not might teach me a thing or two did you fall oh come we Digivolve 2! Kamui Moshiri! A rainbow rocket that has a rocket strapped to its ass. I don't know how much crazier Sega... 
I want to know the drugs Hashino was taking when he was sitting down with his team to make Persona 4 Golden. I swear to God. These are things, ladies and gentlemen, that cannot be explained. Like, Cowboy by himself was this giant, like, teddy bear looking thing with a rocket shoved up its ass. Now it turned into a rocket wearing a crown while having a rocket shoved up its ass. Police, for the love of God, Sega, Atlas, when you make Persona 4 Remake, Persona 4 Rerun, whatever the hell you want to call it, please, for the love of Christ, Vishnu, Thor, Freya, and every seven-headed face god of King's Landing, don't just redesign Teddy's ass. Redesign his personas a little bit too. I am tired of you making personas in Persona 4 that consist of rockets or bears with rockets shoved up their ass. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. You have a fixation with having rockets shoved up a bear's ass. And I can't unsee this. Okay? He has learned the Kamui Miracle. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. You might as well call it the World Wrestling Federation. Anything can happen at the World Wrestling Federation. All right, so we're gonna use this for... You know what? I'm the Isaac. Holy moly, something came out. I'm an all new model now. Teddy version three, or is it four? I don't know, dude. Maybe I should study counting first. Oh, but even though I've entered my independent phase, I'm still gonna have Yosuke take care of me. I'm not that independent yet. Oh, yeah, you gotta grow up, buddy. It just, you know, takes little steps, you know. <laughs> oh, man. This, this is just too funny. This is probably the highlight of this entire stream. I, I shit you not, like. Just that with Twitch, it's Ron322 official, but on YouTube, it's Ron322. Take it on my website, Ron322.com. Yeah. All right, so Tuesday evening. Okay, again, that's it. Make some bank. No problem, Lorena. So, make some more bank. That's how much money we got? 153. We, yeah, we need to make a little more. No, 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 no. Can I work the hospital? Can I work the hospital? If I work the hospital, even better. That's more money. Nope. It's th Thursday, Friday, Saturday. My bad. All right. Let's go make that bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one cares. I know I made my 3,000. All right. All right, here we go. You remember falling asleep in your bed? You feel more awake than ever. Oh, the memories of being with my boo thing, Marie. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Proving to be more difficult. Seems that she left our room with an incredibly strong will. No, her fate lies with you. She has left you to be exact. She must have had a very strong reason to do so. Please allow me more time to pinpoint her location. Okay. Yeah. But I know we have something important, a key item that's essential to her thing. All right, so let's check our status of our team, right? So we know 
has evolved. She has evolved. Yukiko, Rise, Kanji, Naoto, Daddy. But everyone's evolved. Except me. And I don't I don't have all the means to create these like Nagi no Okami, so that way I'm joining them. There's a pain in the ass, and I hope to God Persona 6 never does this stupidity ever again. I hope Persona 6 does not repeat this trend. I, I really hope they don't. Um, I also hope that when they do make a Persona 4 rerun, that they change that. I really hate it. I love how they revamped the Velvet Room stuff in Persona 3 Reload. I hope they do a revamp very similar in Persona 4 Rerun. So that way, we don't have to worry about so many shenanigans just to get Izanagi no Okami. It's already enough work that in Persona 3 Reload, the work you have to do just to get Messiah, Thanatos is enough work, but Messiah, that's a pain in the butt, you know? At least Persona 5 Royal, they did us a solid, right? You know, you want to get Satanile? Just beat the game the first time around. And then the second time around, you confuse him. And then that's that. You know, you're good to go. So, now. Let's see who's available to hang out. So, now that we know. Let's see who's in the third floor. I never cared for any of the side quests. I really didn't. Oh, you know what? Let's talk to the fox. What does the fox say? <laughs> yeah, let's go to the shrine. Let's talk to the kids real quick. Okay. Ooh. Damn. That is mean. Oh, that's right. Got to talk to the boy over at the da, 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 da. on the on the da, 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 da. <laughs> in the floodplain. Kids, right there. There we go. Let him know. Ah, oh, I gotta wait another time before you find out what's going on with that. Oh, old lady's not here. Oh, she ain't dead. All right, so. Let me see if Naoki's over here. Hey, boy. There he is. Yes. Oh, he's got a question? Okay. Oh. Our family's business. I don't really see, I'm still not, but when that woman told me our family should unite, I knew she had a point. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be on Discord anytime soon. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. I'm not multitask or anything. I'm focused on this. I mean, you know, that would be a good idea. Yes. It would help. Yeah. Alright, I have a good one. Ah, later, Lorena. Thanks for swinging by. You should think it over.
Mm. It is painful. Mm. He lost his older sister. It, it's rough. But again, this is why I think the Moon Arcana would have been more perfect. What would have actually been perfect for him because it, it would reflect like his sense of uh, isolation, his sense of uh, deep thoughtfulness and his emotions. Hangman kind of doesn't really work for him, you know? <laughs> I'll see you again. All right. Oh, package. The V chain stuff. Nice. I got another price sticker. And I can work at the hospital. Even better. Okay. Sayoko ain't there, but the money is. There we go. All right, it's almost time to uh, just. Uh... Right. Mm -hmm. That's your zodiac symbols, a little bunny <laughs> right around all over the place. Okay. Get it me zodiac. Which animals use in place of the rabbit? Huh. All right, I don't know this one. We're, we're gonna just we're just gonna guess this one. I'm gonna go with cat. Oh, I was right. In Vietnam, the kitty cat is in the zodiac instead of the bunny. They're both cute. Would you rather see me in a bunny outfit or a kitty outfit? I mean, she she look good either way, so it don't matter. All right, who wants me to hang out with them? Let me see. Oh, Naoki. You know who I'm wondering? What happened to the old lady? Yeah, she's not there no more. Maybe it's because it's, it's so cold or whatever. All right. No, no. Okay. Let's see if um Cole's ready to hang out because Cole's high up on the. Yep, there they are. Yep, a scrimmage game. Yep. Hmm. Tuh. Mm hmm. Huh? Tuh. Okay, yes, you do. Dude, y'all can do four on four for all I know. Don't forget that. I mean, five on three is not really fair, so. Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, that's it actually showed the actual basketball playing happening. What defense? What am I doing? I don't see myself doing dilly squat. I'm just standing there. This dude's not moving. This, oh my god. The score is tied. How? I didn't even see any score happening. 
Definitely something they have to fix if they, with a remake. A remake will definitely f remedy this situation. What's uh, traveling is when you hold the ball and you don't dribble for three seconds or more. <sighs> you might as well just give up the ball at that point. Aww. Yep, because he was like, oh, it's boring. <laughs> I don't want to play. Well, here's a game to light some fire up your ass, boy, and give you some strength to actually love this thing again. And look, it worked out. gotta do your thing pursue what you love you know so you're putting too many brains into this Yeah, that's kind of weird. Why are you going to have a tutor for a two-year-old? That just makes no sense. Just trying to be more support, my I guy. Got it. Thanks, man. He said, welcome back, big bro. <laughs> Alrighty. This is what we're gonna do. 